Welcome to Watch Guard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockiner. Today's story is the Deloitte breach. First of all, as you might notice, I'm traveling this week and actually next week as well. So I may not be able to post videos as regularly as normal, but I'll try to get as many up as I can. In any case, today's news is the Deloitte breach. Deloitte is one of the top four accounting agencies globally and one of the biggest ones in the US. In any case, according to news, they had one of their email servers breached. Long story short, an attacker gained access to an administrative password on this email server, and the uh, administrative password did not have multi-factor authentication. And this allowed the attacker to make away with a number of emails, apparently. So far, Deloitte's only contacted four to six of their customers, so it doesn't seem to be a huge breach yet. And in recent news, they seem to be downplaying it, saying it has limited impact and that they've kind of uh, recovered from it. Nonetheless, they're a really big company. They have a lot of financial information from a lot of big organizations. In any case, it's interesting to see a lot of these financial breaches, starting with the Equifax breach, which made away with a lot of personal information from US citizens. Then of course, the Security and Exchange Commission having their compromise, which could lead to insider training. And now of course this. So what can we learn from this? Well, to me, the big story here is multi-factor authentication. You don't want a privileged account like the administrative password on an email server only to be protected by that password. You need to use multiple forms of authentication to make sure to secure that confidential data. So I highly recommend you consider implementing multi-factor authentication across your organization. And by the way, WatchGuard recently acquired a multi-factor authentication company, so we should have solutions coming for you soon. Anyways, that's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.